Okay, good day. I wanted to do a quick um, self-analysis of a black box log that um, I caught today whilst I had a few issues with one of my quadcopters. It was uh, tumbling, tumbling itself into the ground on um, on roll move, roll maneuvers, and uh, I you know couldn't quite figure it out. It was flying fine the other day. I was um, you know flying out over water and. Uh, you know, not a drama, flipping and rolling. But um, today I was I was out, and this is this is the uh, the flipping question, or the roll, I should say. And uh, we can. What I wanted to just go over is what happened here, and sort of how I'm diagnosing what the issue probably is. So we command a roll. Gyro says, "Yep, we're doing the roll." We come in, and now just when I command this, you know, a stop of the roll, I want to stop the roll. Here, where motors three and four would normally go to about you know thirteen, fourteen hundred to a uh, to successfully stop that, we can see this um, purple trace motor four is completely maxed out. So it's it's at nineteen fifty the whole time um, up here. So, and also, I mean, you can see here in the here in the gyro traces and on the sticks. I'm not commanding any yaw. I'm not asking it to pitch forward, but there it is, um, pitching forward and and yawing. Or what is it that? What's that yawing right? Um, so we can see here, motor four is completely maxed out, whilst the other motors are doing well. The normal thing f for what they, you know, what they should be doing when I ask to stop a roll. So there it is again, and you know, nothing too extreme. Only going high when I go full throttle. Um, yeah. So and then there's me tumbling into the ground and disarming. So. For you know, it's, it's it's a hardware issue. Definitely, it you know, it's it's asking for something that it's just not getting. It's just completely, you know, it's it's trying to stop this motion. This motor is maxed out, of saying you know, go 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 go, and you can see quite obviously that the quad is just still tilting over over over. So, suspect arms, suspect ESC, suspect motor, a hundred percent, without a doubt. Um, Nothing software related. It's it's doing everything it possibly can in that in that situation to correct itself. So uh, I'll try and set up a camera uh, over my desk, and we'll pull apart the um, we'll take the tape off and and check out this uh, motor and ESC. Alrighty. This is the the quad in question, and this is the arm that we've seen that was maxing out on the black box logs. So. In the interest of time, I'll forward, fast forward through this. Ah, <laughs> alrighty. So unwrapping this, I can already see the um, the problem. I'll just get this out of the way a bit more. Okay, so I can already see the issue there. Um, these are these ESCs. <laughs> they don't really have much filtering. That's why I've got a bit of a capacitor on the um, on the main on the PDB there. But um, well, shouldn't have done that. But we can see here that uh, this little surface mount capacitor it's free now. With a, with the little bees, I'll um, try and uh, try and back my claims up here. But the little bees uh, have got already terribly terrible filtering. So when you're losing something, I mean they've they've pushed this to the point where you know the the bare the bare limits. Um, when you so when you lose one of these little caps. It's not surprising that that this motor was failing to to gain stink um, to 
to regain sync in, in fast flips with um like I had super ex super expo set at something like I don't know 50 and my rates were at 0 0.5 so it, it ends up being quite fast uh, roll uh, roll rates so um, yeah so I'll, I'll solder that back on and I'll put in the comment box down the bottom down the bottom I don't know um, tomorrow or whenever I refly this and let you know if that has actually fixed my issue but I won't be surprised if that's it so a bit more fast forward fast forwarding and uh, I may as well leave this rolling while, whilst I'm repairing but I'll fast forward through it certainly not the prettiest but uh, you know, I believe I've beefed up <laughs> beefed up the rail, the power rail, or something either side of those capacitors as well, so, yeah, I'll report back.